bridging the gap. My life is a race, you keep up or you get over loud. Let's get over loud. I cut that bitch off cause these bitches be holding me back. I'm going off a perkins at 30, I'm slow to react. If you owe me, I know where we at. I got ice in my veins and my heart is still colder than that. This positive energy making my enemy think I don't know where you're at. I'm missing my brain like the trunk in the front and the engine inside of the back. She counted up first and I counted it back. I'm pulling these rabbits outside of my head. Left her like a battery, Glock 17 with attachments. Straight out the fire, I don't do no scratching. Fucked up the chat like I wasn't used to having it. Used to be broke till I paid for the damages. Ain't never fold and I know how to handle it. She seen the boy and froze up like a mannequin. Straight out the jungle, I'm still with them savages. Keep them all with me, we tight in the sandwiches. Uh, I'm bridging the gap. My life is a race, you keep up or you get over loud. I cut that bitch off cause these bitches be holding me back. I'm going off a Percocet 30, I'm slow to react. If you owe me, I know where we at. I got ice in my veins and my heart is still colder than that. This positive energy making my Damn, I know y'all seen what I was just doing to them. So if you want to be dribbling like a demon, put these dribble moves on, all right? For sure, you want to have the signature size up Steve Francis, all right? Put on AIs behind the back, put on basic spin, put on Rajon Rondo's Hezzy, and then put on Luca. For sure. You just want to have those. Absolutely. Okay? Now, other than that, like the video and subscribe because I'm about to put y'all on. All right? I got about 10 or 11 dribble moves here. I don't remember. But we got the gamepad viewer, you know, with the controller set up. I'm about to show y'all the exact controller, like, movement on the analog sticks. You already know what I'm saying. But I'm about to really put y'all on. All right? So, look. Off rip, I'm going to get into the spicy moves that I know y'all do on accident, but you want to do on purpose. All right. So this momentum snatch, I guess you could call it. Right. Because you have to do the momentum dribble move. I know everybody knows how to do the momentum. If you don't go watch a video on how to do the momentum, because I'm not going to teach in this video. But look, you do the momentum and all you have to do is pull back the right stick after the momentum. That's all you got to do. But you have to do it fast, like really fast. So look, if the ball's in your right hand. You want to do the momentum, right? Left stick up, diagonal left. Right stick up, diagonal left to start the momentum. Hold the trigger, okay? And then you would just pull back on the right stick the opposite direction immediately to snatch it back, okay? So it'll look like that when you do it fast, all right? Then it's the same thing for the opposite side, feel me? Momentum, pull back on the right stick. Same exact thing, easy. Now, for this move, if you know me from 2K20, you know this is one of my favorite moves. Like, I did this shit religiously. This was my move, you feel me? So, you're gonna have to do some type of speed boost-ish, kinda, to do the move, right? So, you see how I cross over? That's my speed boost, right? So, you're gonna wanna cross over. If this is with your balls in the left hand, right? Or right hand, I guess. You will cross over to the left, run to the left, hezzy to the left, and then pull the stick back. So, right, run to the left, Hezzy to the left, and then pull the stick back to the top right, okay? So, balls in your right hand, run to the left, hezzy left, pull the stick back to the right, top right, all right? Same thing if you run into the right, you will hezzy to the right, and then pull the stick back to the left, you know what I'm saying? That one's gonna take some time to get used to, because like I said, you kinda got a speed boost into it, so it's gonna take a while to get used to that one. Now, this one is the crab spam. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm gonna call it for me. I don't really do this move that much, but I know people want to do this move. So, like, this is the move that on 2K20, when you would spam this move to the paint, you wouldn't get, like, nobody can steal the ball from you. You know what I'm saying? This is that same move. All right? I don't know if they can steal the ball from you this year. They can steal anything this year. Like, they didn't fix the stealing yet. But <laughs> let's get into it. You literally just left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right with your analog sticks. You know what I'm saying? So the left stick... We'll go left, hold the trigger, right? Left stick will go left, right stick will go left, and then they will go right, right. So it's just left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. But you just gotta spam it fast as hell, pretty much, and you'll do that move. And I did say I wasn't gonna teach the momentum, but this pretty much is the momentum, so here you go, you feel me? Look, it's just the momentum, just not holding the boost, so. It's just, it's just faster though, I promise. Like it's 10 times faster than the regular momentum and you could take off off of this move. So if the ball's in your right hand, you're gonna move both your sticks up diagonal to the left. Left stick first though, okay? 
boom and then to go the other way you would just go up diagonal to the right same thing just you know vice versa and then just go back and forth without holding the trigger okay just like that and that'll do the momentum for you easy and apparently this one's called the misdirect crossover so that's what we're gonna call it this one is actually pretty crazy like this one 90 percent of the time you're gonna slaughter the person in front of you with it that's what it looks like when you do it wrong just looks goofy as hell so <clears throat> don't do it like that so, i mean so look if the ball is in your left hand you're gonna move your right stick to the left side but you're gonna move your left stick to the right so they go opposite ways right and then you would just do it the opposite way again to go back the other way all right you would hold it for one whole second all right so when you move your sticks opposite ways hold it for one second let go and that'll do the crossover because that one second it's going to do the move and then it'll cross over out of it and this one is the misdirect behind the back which is pretty much the same exact move but instead of your sticks going side to side your right stick is going to go diagonal your left stick is going to stay side to side all right so you want to hold the trigger and same thing your sticks will be going opposite directions right but your right stick is going diagonal down instead of just side to side okay and that'll do the behind the back same thing hold it for like a second half a second and it'll perform the whole animation it takes a second to do the whole animation plus you can also speed boost off of that version all right so look this spin between the legs this one's fire if you watch my clips on uh instagram you know i, I abuse this move you could take off of this move anytime this is a universal with your right stick so i mean with like whichever hand the ball's in it's universal it doesn't matter which hand the ball's in you could just spin the stick and then flick down and it's gonna do the move every time so say you cross over bam you're about to hit the rim if you spin the stick flick down you're immediately gonna do that move it's gonna throw off the opponent because you're gonna do it this slow ass move out of nowhere after being fast and that shit's just <laughs> like you're, you're in there like the move is crazy i promise try this move out this is another one that i know people do on accident but they want to do it on purpose i mean they're probably trying to do the stizo and then they do this move on accident it's the same thing and this one is the same thing but instead of flicking your stick down after you spin it you're going to flick it to the left or right it's also universal you can use either way that ball either hand the ball's in you just spin the stick and flick left or right and it'll do the quicker version of that all right and this version is the fastest version that you could speed boost out of once you bounce that ball that second time boom boom take off boom boom take off right so you just spin the stick and flick right or spin the stick and flick left all right doesn't matter which hand the ball is in like i said flick left or flick right and you're gone and these are the simplest ones right here these three moves there's one more having to deal with the spin all right so you could this one you see the left or right and then this one is a spin snatch all right so when you snatch the ball that's up on the right stick okay so you would spin the stick and then push up instead of down or left and right okay super simple so if you needed to see what it looked like spin a stick push up spin a stick push up all right now now you know the three spin moves that you probably didn't know all right so you first one between the legs spin a stick flick down second one spin a stick go left or right third one spin a stick and flick up now this one is a double behind the back which i actually don't see a lot of people doing that much this year it used to be a spam one in 2k20 but i don't see it this much that much this year so i'm about to put y'all on and this one's super simple too if you know how to do the explosive behind the back already so you hold the trigger explosive and then just flick your right stick back the opposite way going down okay so if the ball's in your right hand you want to hold your sticks like that to go do it with the explosive so left stick up diagonal left right stick down diagonal left and then explosive and then put your right stick back diagonal down to the right to go again behind the back boom boom all right i explained that one kind of fast so just go back over it if you need to you know retry that but this one i'm pretty sure everybody knows it by now like it was the most hype move this year you know why because nobody knows how to dribble feel me this move is the bailout move of the year I'm telling you, like, come on now, like, this move's been around since 2K16, but apparently people just found out this move is even a thing, all right? So this spin, it will, I guarantee it'll bail you out of damn near every move, right? So if, if the ball's in your left hand, you want to go run straight, 
and then your right stick will go from 12 to 9 okay 12 9 okay 12 9 as in on a clock 12 to 9 o'clock okay now if the ball's in your right hand you're gonna go from 12 to 3 okay boom boom 12 3 that's if the ball's in your right hand 12 3 once you start doing that move consistently that's gonna change your dribbling career for life okay now if you need proof of these dribble moves working watch the first video and watch this one So yeah, that's pretty much it from me, for me. I hope y'all learned a couple of dribble moves that you didn't know about. And I hope y'all go to the park or any up or rec or whatever you do and go stupid with them. Mix them all together, go crazy with it, for me, because this year is crazy. All right. Uh, like and subscribe if this video helped you. Comment down below if the video helped you. And Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Let's start this year off right, feel me? I love y'all. I'm out of here.